How about going for a cruise, but you're coming home Memorial Day weekend. There's a storm between you and home. Do you go for it? Well, they did on the Carnival cruise ship. They said, we got to get these folks back to land. The seas were all shook up, though, from the coastal low we've been telling you about. And the boat sailed right into the storm off the coast of the Carolina uh, Charleston area. And the passengers said they actually started to feel sick as they were preparing to dock in Charleston. This happened on Saturday. A number of the decks on board of the ship were actually flooded out. And some actually got damaged. A representative for the cruise said that all the guests on board were safe. They were able to handle everything. The medical staff provided some minor assistance to a few people. And the ship was good enough to load back up and go out to sea. It has another full board of passengers, and they're headed to the Bahamas. So uh, that was kind of wild. Joining us right now by phone is Krista Seifert, Alicia, that passenger who was on the ship. Um, how did how did it turn out for you, Krista? First of all, had you gone to the Bahamas and when you were on your way back? We were on our way back, yes. And so, what was it, what was it like? Did you know that there was a storm? I did because I was paying attention to the weather and I kept on like getting little alerts on my phone, and I was like, oh my goodness, we're getting a storm. So and then it was being said by other passengers that were aware of it as well. So. We just didn't know what was going to happen. Some of us thought that we were just going to stay in the island Half Moon Cay mm -hmm. and maybe just wait it out because we knew that it was going to be that. But that didn't happen, and we just we started sailing and going, and it was it was bad. It was really something I can't even. It's just indescribable. Like we were just all fearful. I mean, everybody from children to um, adults, elderly. Everybody was out. People were panicking, packing their suitcases, going down to the lower floors, screaming, yelling. People were hurt. It was it was it was quite an experience. We're looking at some of the video from from when you were going through all this. It's amazing. There's a lot of damage too. Looks like that the waves and the wind must have tossed the boat. What did it feel like being shook like that? Um, and were there announcements that they have sort of an emergency plan in place or did you guys kind of just have to ride it out? So that was the thing. There was no communication and that's what you were waiting for because you were just like, okay, there's going to be some clear, clear communication to us. I mean, we were just rocking and and we were hitting waves they were banging i mean you were you could not stand straight you couldn't lay straight you were hitting high waves you felt the ship go up and come down i mean we were bounced off the bed our luggage went flying glasses breaking i was so sick oh it was terrible people were throwing up everywhere it was bad it was so bad. We've been looking at I some mean, of the data back here, and uh, Krista, we've been looking at some of the data on the wave heights to see exactly how high this storm, this coastal low, was throwing up the uh, waves. And some went as high as 15 to 20 feet. There was a small pocket north of Charleston where the wave heights were even exaggerated above 20 feet. So getting tossed and turned around like that, uh, those waves were right up against the Carolina coastline. Um, did you see anybody get hurt or was there any um, sort of uh, thing that stood out about the damage so, of the ship? Well, um, I was on a nice deck and, you know, as soon as that there was this large, I mean, a large thing that must have been the biggest wave that we hit because we must have, when we banged down, the whole ship just banged. I mean, it was, you thought that you were, it was, I don't know, I thought it like tore apart, you know, I don't know. But everybody came running out of their rooms as fast as they could. And then there was this young girl, maybe like teens, and she ran down to the other end of the ship towards the, you know, like, because we were towards the front. And she ran down to check, like, her grandmother. And her grand she came running back out. Her grandmother was on the floor. She was hurt. Mm. Um, and then later on, somebody down at the other end of the hall, and I didn't see it, but I heard it. They were all down there because somebody fell and hit their head, and they were bleeding. So yeah, it was it was bad. It was my my sister was on the second floor, and her actual she had a window view, um, and her window started to break, and some of the water started to come in. So wow. she had pictures of that.
What a wild ride. Uh, probably not the cruise view that you were looking for, um, but I'm glad you made it back home safe and hopefully yes. have a little bit calmer yes. day today. Yes, yes. Krista, we are so thankful to be on land. <laughs> Krista, we wish you the best. Thank you for taking a few minutes here to share with us yes. about being a passenger during a storm there on the Carnival cruise headed back to Charleston. We're going to share with the audience now here. Carnival did release a statement saying, quote, the weather's prolonged impact on the Charleston area delayed the ship's arrival on Sunday. And as a result, the next voyage's embark was also delayed, and we appreciate the patience and understanding of all the guests. The weather and rough surf led to some crew cabins being temporarily taken out of service while they cleaned up the water damage, but all the public areas of the ship are open and back in service. I believe that ship's now headed to the Bahamas. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.